Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different than my normal videos. Um, I'm going to attempt to film um, stretching my ear from a 16 gauge down to a 14 gauge. So I decided I want to start stretching my ears. Um, I'm still not sure what my goal is going to be, probably somewhere around the 4 to 2 gauge. So I tried to skip um, and go directly into a 14 gauge and my ears would not allow it. So I had to order this separate from my kit and this is just like a little 16 gauge kit which went in just fine. Um, but I'm going to take these out and put in my um, little itty bitty um, 14 gauge tunnels. So hopefully it works this time. So I'm just going to take these out and I have just washed my hands. Ignore all that in the background too. It's kind of a mess. Okay. So there's that one out. And I really don't like these like screw together ones at all. Now let's just take this one out. After the initial time that I tried to go down to the 14 gauge, my ears kind of freaked out um, and were really sore and red for a couple days, but once I went into the 16, um, I let them heal for a good week, week and a half, and then I went ahead and tried the 16, and those went in piece of cake. So these have been in my ears, um, these 16s, for a week and a day, and I'm hoping that's long enough. I'm just going to um, use a little alcohol wipe just to wipe and make sure everything's clean. I've already sterilized all of my like taper and um, tunnel that I'm going to be using. Just going to put some oil. Um, right now I'm just using the um, Josie Moran light oil. Um, that's just because it's the only thing I literally have right now. So I have the taper and I'm just going to um, put it through the ear, which it went in really easy. And just push it through. It's actually like going right in, like it's in right now. So barely, I mean, it's pinching a little bit, but barely at all. Like I probably wouldn't even count it as anything to be completely 100% honest. Now my issue last time, I could get the taper in, the tunnel would not go. So I hope that this goes smooth. So I just get a little more. Just gonna line that up and push it through, hopefully. Damn it. I don't know why I have so much difficult with this part. Okay, it's literally the tunnel will not go through. This is so aggravating. Like, that taper just, like, slides right in like nobody's business. I'm just going to let that sit there for a while because it's not wanting to take the tunnel again. So I still have that taper in. This is the most frustrating thing in the world that this will not go in. Okay, one more time. Like stops. Like it literally just stops right there and then like will not go anywhere. I'm gonna try the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the um, opposite side. See if I can have any luck. Yeah, that went. The taper went exactly like it was supposed to. It went straight in. No problems. Now the damn tunnel. Okay. Line it up. Done. Oh my god. Okay, that side went in. That was so easy. Okay, that one worked perfectly. Now I feel so much better. Oh my gosh. 
And I literally thought that this was going to be my bad ear because it has a lot of scar tissue on the back. Um, but I'm really fucking excited. There is what it looks like. It's teeny tiny. This is the 14 gauge. Um, so I'll probably keep this anywhere from three to four weeks before I um, try to go down into the 12 gauge. Going to attempt this ear again. I don't understand why that one was so easy and why this one's not. I think maybe it's... I don't know that what's wrong with this one. Come on. Come on. Oh, I feel like I almost went ahead, but I didn't. No, I didn't. I honestly think that, like, my ear wasn't pierced or something, or, like, maybe the hole in the back is, like, at an angle. Because... This ear just does not want to do anything, which is really, really, really aggravating and frustrating. All right, so I'm back and I'm going to attempt to put this um, tunnel through. God, it gets so close, and then it just stops. I think I just got it. I got it. Yes, it went through. Oh. What I actually did that time is I kind of like slanted it like at an angle, um, kind of like slanted it downwards and it went right in. So I'm wondering if like my piercings aren't lined up the best of sorts, but I am extremely happy that that um, worked. So there is the um, 14 gauge and I do plan to do videos the entire journey of my ear stretching so um i know this video is a little different i hope you guys like it and subscribe if you want to see my ear stretching journey bye